Hello, welcome to Econometrics Melody. In this tutorial, we'll deal with the commands save, use, describe, name, option, display, dear, rename, copy, drop, erase, and discard commands useful in graphs. Let us create our data set. So this is our data. And uh, the first option for the first command that we're going to use is called save. We're going to draw a pie chart of variable C over B and we'll save it by the name graph one. And if there is this name graph one, we want to replace it by this graph called pie chart. So this is our graph. Now let us save it by using another option. Let us draw a scatter graph of AC and let's label the X label first by 20 and then 80 with a gap of 40 each up to 140 and then the angle of this label is 90 degree x line we are going to draw two lines at the point 600 and 900 at x axis and two lines at the point 550 and 40 in the y axis and then we are going to save this graph by the name graph 2 grp2 and we're going to replace it if any graph that has the name grp2 so you'll see it's 600 and the 900 these are the lines x line at x and the line it y are at the points 40 to 50 so 50 and 40 there's two points and this graph is saved by the name of graph 2. now let me draw another scatter graph and we are going to use this option m label marker label b so at this point we will get the marker label b and we're going to save it by the name graph 3 drp3 and line we are going to draw a line at x axis at the point 300 and let's see this this is very simple so these are the labels West is if you want to see what other let me list the variable b in one to five okay and the other ones so these are the list if i if there's a size of this graph at the same time these are the list variable b this is very useful now let us go to another command scatter ac so marker label is B again, we, and we have to write M symbol is triangular. If you look at this square at this point, they will turn into tang, triangle. And we're going to draw a line at the y-axis at the point 35. So these are triangular, so this is the line at the point 35 on the y-axis. And we're going to save this graph by the name DRP4. So we are use this, using this command called save. Similarly, let us draw a scatter line, a scatter graph AC of AC. M label is D and uh, we're going to use another label D is a categorical variable and I am symbol T marker this will be a triangular shape and then Y we won't see any white grid now we have this white grid so we don't want to see any white grid and we are going to save it by the name graph the RP5 so you don't see any grid and this is triangular this is the categorical variable for D so very simple now let us draw a graph dot graph and then we want to save it by the name grp6 this is the active graph and if i drop it all all the active graphs will be dropped now let us use those graphs that we have saved we uh, by this time we are aware with the command save now let us use them okay so let us call them now these graphs are saved in the directory and let, let me use graph one so graph one will, will be called similarly we're going to call all the other graphs they are active in the memory now so these are the graphs two three four and then five and then six there you go so we have six graphs in the memory active this is six five and so on now let us display them if you write graph display the foremost graph that will be displayed so our graph six will be active now you see this is active now we can call all the graphs let me call graph one and five so there is the one five now let me call the graph two and we want to display it you know by changing this uh, y size is three and x size is nine so x axis is greater than your y axis so x is greater than y so this is how we can manipulate their display and we're going to now play on their margins and you see what happens to the margins so these are very intuitive left right bottom top top minus one bottom is exactly equal to 0.3 these are in inches 
right is increased by 2, left minus 3, these are the margins. And graph display, we are going to scale them. Okay, when after scaling, you see the size of these labels and these lines, this will change. It is greater because we have split it by 20%. And display graph 6, margins, medium, small, and there are so these are the margins and if you see these are the options other options that you can use for the margins please take your time to use this and play around with this now let's go to scatter ab if you write scatter ab you'll get a graph so you see the name by default the name of this graph is graph now if you use another option called scatter cd the same graph will be replaced by this so this is cd but still you have graph so if you want to, these are temporarily available, okay? So if you want to write a scatter A, B, and then just name that graph by G11. Now this, the name of this graph is G11. And if you want to draw another graph and name it G22, you will get another graph. No, the same graph is not replaced, okay? We'll have another graph. So this will help you in comparison. And G33. So these are temporary names. So these are only in the memory. They are not saved in the directory. Now, if you write display G11, so you'll get this graph. And if you want display G22, these are the schemes. Okay, you see what are the changes if you apply to the schemes. This is by this scheme, yes, one, yes, R color. So these are the options of the scheme I have specified over here. You can play around with this as well. Now, let us try another scheme. Yes, the Stata Journal. And this scheme, Economist, is like used in the Economist. So play around with these schemes and if you again now display graph display the foremost graph will be active here gg3 will be active so this is active right now now let us go to graph query any schemes and if you want to see what are the schemes available there may be some other schemes also available so if you if you write this graph schemes and let us see what happens just query this okay so these are the schemes you just click and play around with this okay now let us go to the next option called graph rename and if you want to rename this graph you see what happens so that this is also the temporary one okay so the active graph graph one we are going to replace it by this name so this rename is this does not change the name of the graphs that are saved in the directory this will simply change the name of the graphs that are in the memory so grp1 not found so we have already changed this now we just use from grp2 and you will not get this error now if i run again let us use the next option called graph copy so this will simply copy the graph 2 by this name and this is not going to create a copy in the directory this is again a temporary one this will simply create a copy in the memory so i have copied graph 2 by the name h1 and graph display h i economist so this will display now let us see the graph deer and i will make the differences clear so if i write graph d you will get the list of all the graphs but if you remember these are the graphs that we have saved in memory grp1 to grp6 these graphs these are the graphs they are available only in the memory they are not in the directory so graph tier memory if you want to check this you see these are the graphs in the memory active in the memory right now and if i write draft you don't see the name grp1 to 6 grp1 to 6 you don't see it because they are available in the directory so we can call them but we can now let let me use this another option called graph your details you will see the detailed commands of these graphs that are available in the directories so what are the details how what are the commands used to draw these graphs so gg1 you see remember it we have used this command for gg gr4 we have used this command and so on these are very useful now if you want to list the graphs that begins with the letter i then you get this there are inflation one integer and invest these are the graphs that begins with the name i now let us go to the next command called graph drop this will simply drop all the active graphs from the memory but not from the directories now if you write graph did you see the graph in the memories they are all gone so we have only these graphs grp one to six in our directories 
Now let us use a graph 5, GRP5. We can use this. And if I describe this, let us run the command called describe. This will just give us some description about this graph. So what is the description of this graph? Let me see this. So name, its format, it was created, its scheme, its size, it's a data file. We have not drawn this graph saving certain data. So these are the commands. So this is another very useful command. Now let me describe another graph. Okay, graph in the disk. So we have saved this graph. We, if you remember this, we have called this graph by using huge. Then after we have described it. So this use graph is right now in the memory and we have described it. So graph six and graph three, they are not in the memory right now. They are in the directory, but still we can see the description of this graph. So in order to see the description of the graphs in the folder or in the directories, we use this command grp graph name and gr gph. We need to specify the full extension as well. So let us describe this too and see what is its descriptions like. And we get the same descriptions again okay? for graph three name of the graph three slime created date okay and the command use this name of the graphs in the double quote and still you are going to get the same description now graph display the foremost graph will be activated so this is active right now graph six is activated now let us if you use discard this will drop all the automatic this will drop automatically the loaded programs whatever loaded programs and this will help you clear more memory okay so if i discard this this graph will be closed now let us erase what is the difference between erase we are going to permanently erase the name first of all let us list the directories of the graphs these are the graphs available and if you write graph daily you get the same result so these are the graphs only graphs now let us erase this okay all those graphs that we have stored in our disk from graph one to graph six let us use this command erase to erase this and then if i write graph d now you won't see the list of those graphs we don't have any graphs so please take your time in understanding this thank you very much for your time thank you very much econometrics mother